All right, another make it make sense. Overreaction edition. Look, man, the Warriors got beat. They got manhandled by the Lakers. That's why they got beat, man. But that doesn't mean they have to just blow the whole thing up and start completely over like people are saying, man. Let's take a look at this thing. First off, they're not trading Klay Thompson, okay? Stop it. Yes, he had a bad playoff series the last four games against the Lakers. No question about it. Shot poorly, and poorly is being nice. But the bottom line, go to the business side of it, man. One year, $43 million, You don't trade that until you absolutely have to. Not to mention, it's Klay Thompson. He's not getting traded. Stop the madness. Next is Draymond Green. People keep saying, well, Draymond's got a player option, and he's going to go somewhere else. Yet, no, he's not. Because the last time I checked, Draymond Green likes money. And there's not a team in the National Basketball Association that's going to pay him $27 million a year, which is what he's going to get from the Warriors if he opts in. He's taking that money. He's not going anywhere. Now, this is where it gets tricky because the Warriors, yeah, they've made some mistakes front office-wise. They should have never given Jordan Poole all that money. Just shouldn't have done it. But when you do that, you're basically telling him and everybody else, Jordan Poole is your future. But a person that is not your future is Draymond Green. And when Draymond Green knocked Jordan Poole out and you basically sided with Draymond by keeping him on the team, you basically shut down Jordan Poole. And regardless of whether you think that Draymond sucker punched him or not, and he did, he should have immediately been sat down and he could never play on your franchise again because this guy is our future. We're siding with him to make him feel comfortable. They didn't do that. Next, man, they gave up on James Wiseman way too soon. Look, I think James Wiseman can play. I think he's in Detroit actually getting an opportunity to play. And he's going to show the Warriors that, hey, man, you just gave up on me too soon. I develop a little bit later than others. Not to mention he had some injuries that happened, and he just didn't get to play a lot. And I know, I know, there's going to be some people, and, and proof is in the pudding, that maybe he didn't fulfill all of their needs or or what they thought he was going to be, maybe his potential already. But the guy's 21 years old, man. Give him a chance. There's another guy that I know of that a lot of people think is the greatest basketball player to ever play. He didn't even get into the National Basketball Association until he was 21 years old. So is there a possibility or just a chance that maybe guys can take a little bit of time to actually develop? But that's an NBA potential issue that they draft on now, and that's a conversation for another day. If anything, you may look at trading Wiggins, but I don't think that's the answer either. I think you just got to develop what you got, keep the guys for another year, and try to make a run at it. It's a make-or-miss league. The Warriors just missed a lot against the Lakers, man.